Hello everyone, today we're doing our DIY furniture reform project where we're repainting these pieces of furniture. So we got these furniture as second hand, but we're not liking the color of it, so we're trying to repaint those. So probably you're wondering what material we're using. So for the paint, we're using this one here, which is already combined with a primer, which means that it can pretty much be applied to any surface. And especially that was important because these furniture have already been finished and in order to apply paint on a finished surface you need a primer and previously we have tried to apply paint and primer separately and the cost of material will be cheaper if you do them separately but it just takes more time and more steps to get the finished product and for this paint it's one of the lowest grade from its lineup and the reason that we're using a lower grade product is because we'll be applying a finish and for the finish we'll be applying this product here it's a polycrylic finish um, it's not the hardest finish that you can find but for the furniture this will just work fine and as you can see here uh, there are different glossiness levels for these wood finishes and this one is an ultra flat so if you go to box stores then you can find various levels of glossiness so as a first step we'll apply the paint plus primer and then we'll finish at the end with this uh, it's not going to be as easy as two step because there will be multiple coats of paint and multiple coats of finish needed but still i think this is pretty much the minimalistic approach that we can take when it comes to furniture repainting and we have also applied this approach to some IKEA products which have worked great for us. Okay, so here I am applying the very first coat of the paint. As I mentioned, since I'm using a paint plus primer product, the paint can be applied directly on the finished surface. If it were a normal regular paint, then it just wouldn't stick to a finished surface like this. Okay, so this is after the first coat has dried. If you look closely, you can see that it lacks coverage in certain areas. You can still see the layer underneath. And also you can notice the brush strokes. So for the second coat, I'm gonna use the sponge brush, which will leave less stroke behind. Okay, so this is the second coat of paint. And thinking back, I think I should have used a sponge brush even from the first coat. After two coats of paint, I moved on to the finish coat. For this polycrylic finish, using a paintbrush is just as fine because it doesn't leave much brush strokes behind. I actually tried using a sponge brush for this finish, but the sponge came off with the finished liquid, so it was no good. I think the critical point of applying this finish is to make sure application is done evenly on the surface. Otherwise, if it drips or lumps anywhere, it will show when it dries off. Okay, so this is the finished product. So for the very top surface, we ended up doing three coats of the finish. And for the legs and the sides, we did two coats. And for the underneath, we just got away with doing just one coat. Also, I have to mention that this polycrylic finish is a water-based finish, which means that the cleaning up can be done with water, which is really easy. Let's be very honest. I'm not going to say that this is like a professional touch, but I think this is very much good enough for a beginner DIY furniture repaint. Anyway, that's it for my video. If you liked it, please, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.